welcome back to Lori's channel. I have another Dollar Tree haul. I went to the Dollar Tree this morning and I had to go to two actually because one store didn't have everything I was looking for. But I got I got some things and I wanted to show you guys. Okay, where do I start? Let's start with the yard stuff. I got these cute little pot hold hanging hanging guys. They hang on your pots, owls, a little um, gnome. I have pots in my yard, so I was like, okay, I'll use these. And I had found some more stuff for my fairy garden. If you look at my last video, I have I showed you my garden and I have a fairy garden. So I found little little um, grass plot and then I found a little a cute little bench to put in my fairy garden. I think it'll be a cute little ad. Then for the yard I found this bug spray. It's ortho, it's a real brand. I always have these really big zucchini plants that grow, they're huge, and they always get kind of killed by, um, they're called squash bugs. So I'm hoping this will kill squash bugs. I don't know, it doesn't say, but it's worth a try. And then I found some flower seeds, which I'm gonna need to put soon in the garden. And I found some of these. This is kind of cool, it's like a little, a little, pod that you wet and then you stick it in the dirt and it grows. I found this flower, I found some tomatoes, and they had two other different kind of flowers. A butterfly one, this is the summer one, they had a butterfly one and they had something else. found those for my garden and then I found uh, this wind chime that I thought was a pretty color which will match my backyard and I set it for a dollar. Let's see what it looks like. For a dollar, why not? I got my wind chime. Yeah, let's see, I don't know. Hopefully I don't get it all tangled here. Hmm. Yeah, good job, Lori. Oopsie daisy. I see. I see. There you go. Pretty little, a pretty little wind chime in my backyard. Hopefully the neighbors will not like me after they hear my little wind chime making all this noise, but yeah. Okay, what else I got? Okay, that's all for the yard. Then I found some um, personal care stuff. I actually found some aloe vera and I hope I can find alcohol and then I can make some hand sanitizers. I gotta find the little bottles too, but I'm getting there. I got one step, one step closer. I found this foam body wash and I got it because it says it's made in the US and it's a pomegranate lemon flavor. So why not? I found some ponds anti anti marks. My daughter has some discoloration from acne scars, so maybe this will work for her well. And it's also ponds, so it's also a brand name. And I found these two ponds pure detoxifying um, charcoal masks, charcoal facial foam. So hopefully this is for my daughter also. I found another one of these. I actually used, used the other one that I bought, the pomegranate flavor, I believe it was pomegranate. Pomegranate raspberry and I liked it. So I saw this one and I said, oh, lavender, okay, let's try that one. Then I found these, Nivea, these are name brand from the dollar store body wash. I said I can give it a try for a dollar. I found some air fresheners for my mother for her little thing that sprays out automatically. The one she has is not working right so she wanted a new one. I found some face serum, coconut and rose hips. So it says it's fruit enzymes, it boosts radiance and improves skin tone. Anything to improve skin tone. I need a new mascara, guys. I can't find a mascara that these eyelashes work with ever. I don't even try, I don't only try the dollar store, I try all kinds of places and nothing. So hopefully I can find one sooner or later. I found, this is new, I haven't seen this before, Wet n Wild um, gel lip liner. And they also had 
a lip gloss and I think these are new. I haven't seen them there before. Um, I found the Bolero Jelly Facial Balm. It looked like something I would want to try. Let's open it and check it out. It's, it awakens skin. It doesn't have that great of a smell. I don't know if that was the bag or, yeah, I don't know. It smells kind of like cucumbery, but not all that great. I don't know. We'll find out. Then I need some liquid, liquid uh, foundation. So I just picked up what I found. Let's try it out. If I don't like it, I don't like it, whatever. I don't wear that much makeup usually. But sometimes you just need a little feel better boost. I found Sassy and Chic lip gloss. Look like fun. Girl can never have too much lip gloss. I found an under eye massager. It's not for me, this is for my sister, I believe. I'm gonna stick it in her birthday bag. Don't, don't, don't look, Vicky. I found me and my daughter some spa bath and shower lip and under eye treatments for our spa days. Me and my daughter have spa days. Oh, from the plant section, I got this from my mother's house plants. She has house plants in her house and, and she's always saying they need something and I said, oh, maybe they, they can use this. And I also got some pain relief patches because I have this pain in my hip back. I don't know, hopefully it works. Then I saw somebody else haul these and I said, I gotta find these for when you have heels. They have a foam, a squishy foam in them. When you have heels and you have all that pressure right here, I'm hoping that this would help. I don't know, I've never tried it, but we'll see. Okay, then I found this nightlight. I wanted to see how it looks. I have the other ones from the Dollar Tree, the regular long ones with the little, this one looked like fun. I saw somebody else haul it and it looked like fun. So I said, oh, I want to try that. Then I bought these little drawers. Um, they're for organizing stuff. Hopefully I can organize stuff on my dresser in my room. Let me try and open this. Um, so I can declutter my dresser because my dresser is so cluttered with stuff. Let's see. So a drawer. And I think they're stackable. At least it says they're stackable. Whoops. And they come out too, please. Oops. Sorry for that, please. Oh, then I found um, the candle. My daughter wanted with a little poof. Everybody's hauling. My daughter said, Mom, I want one of those. I found one. And it actually smells pretty good. It smells like clean oranges or something. I don't know. And then I found another candle. It says peaches and cream. This one smells good too. I didn't smell them until I got home, but luckily they smell good. Then I found these at the dollar store and they're fragrance mists. The crazy thing is I didn't notice until I got home how empty they are. They're both like that. See, they're both half full. So I guess they come like that. I don't know. I didn't notice it in the store. If I did, I probably wouldn't have picked them up, but too late now, I got them home and I'll use them. I found the Lipton's Southern Sweet Tea that everybody's talking about. Make these, make this for the backyard one day, sit back there in the sunshine. I found this snack mix that I see somebody haul all the time and I'm like, hmm, she hauls a lot of them. Um, it's Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons. She hauls these like crazy and she says they're really good and she keeps them in her desk at work, so I'm gonna try it. I only got one, but I trust her. I trust this is good. I found this chalk writer in silver. I have a little homemade chalkboard I made in my kitchen. So I said, oh, this would be cute to try to write on that. I found the Little Italy's marinara sauce. I see people hauling. I said, oh, let's try it. It looks pretty good. Yeah, and it's distributed by Little Italy in New York, so it's the United States. Then I found Kingsford lemon pepper all-purpose seasoning. I like lemon pepper chicken. It's 
So there you go, lemon pepper chicken. I'm, I also hauled this for my laundry room. I'm gonna put it on the wall. Thought it was cute. I found this cute little um, crazy cat lady magnet for your refrigerator. Thought it was just cute. I'm a crazy cat lady. My last haul, you saw my cats running around. You can't see them now because I'm standing next to a table. Then I got two of these little, I bought these for my niece for her birthday and they were so cute and I wanted one. So I saw them and I got me two. And then the little bite box for my daughter. When we were watching a haul, she's like, does it really bite your finger? I said, I don't know. We'll find out. I got this for my brother-in-law for his man cave. I think I'm going to paint it. I'm going to try to paint it. I'm going to try to make a Cubs sign from Chicago and he's a big Cubs fan. So I'm going to try to make a homemade cup sign for him on this bear. Then I found a few stickers that I thought were cute. This is just, this is just pretty because it's, it's just pretty. And I don't think you have to use it in this, in this pattern. I think you can like maybe cut them out and use however you want. And then like a little owl, like a little man owl, like owl, owl, he's so cute. Just little birdies, they're so cute. And then the food, the little taco, the happy taco and the happy hamburger. Pizza, ice cream. I just thought they were so cute. And then just some black bling diamonds. I found the furry flip flops. The furry flip flops. I got a pair of gray ones. I got a pair of animal print ones. I had to go to two dollar stores. This was at the first dollar store. The second dollar store didn't have them. The first one didn't have a lot of stuff, but it had these. Then I found this 50 counts of napkins, 50 counts. Hold on guys, I gotta stop the phone from ringing. Okay, sorry about that. I found this, it's a 50 count, 50 count napkins. And these are nicer than the regular napkins and a 50 count. So I got picked up two of those. 4th of July, Memorial Day weekend, which is today, and I really don't have anything to do, but 4th of July, maybe maybe we'll have plans, and you can use that for that. And then I saw these, and I just had to buy them. Little umbrellas for drinks. It's just so fun. Fun. And I got some of these. Now, I know you're going to maybe think I'm crazy, but you know how everybody's doing these drive-by parades for birthday parties, graduations, and you put these balloons, you blow them up. And they're little and they pop when you're driving because they can't control with the air and the driving. These work great. My niece had her birthday party and these are those big ones that you boom, 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 pop. These work great for putting them on your car. They don't pop and then they'll have a little, a little gift afterwards. Some little banging, uh, what are these things called? Banging balloons. So yeah, punch balloons. And there's three in a pack. And these work great for those drive-by birthday parties, graduations, congratulations, whatever. These work very well. Then I know I don't really like books and I don't really read books very often, but I saw some books at the dollar store and I couldn't pass them up. First, I found some cookbooks because I like to eat. So I found a Skinny Girl Grill book. Normally this book would be $14.95. It was at the dollar store. It has pictures of stuff. It's summertime. What can we put on the grill? I saw this book. I had to pick it up for a dollar. Then I found this book, I guess is normally $9.48. This is really big right there. It's called Finger Foods for like when you have people over. It also has pictures. I love pictures and books. The one has octopuses and one like that. Uh, but yeah little finger foods that you can make for parties, appetizers, have friends over when you can, again, someday. Then I found this one, this look yummy. It also has pictures of food and stuff. And it looked interesting. And you can always use some new recipes. You can always use some new recipes. And one more cookbook I found. American Flair. This one said 
US $40. Oh, this one was, how much was this one? This one says US $35, $35, $40 for a cookbook that you find at the dollar store for a dollar. I mean, really? Look, pictures and stuff on how to make different kind of foods. But this is, this is a great one that I found, guys. I found ones where I can gift. Like if I have a birthday and I need, or I have a friend who has a birthday and I need to buy them a gift, and I know they like wine, I can buy them a bottle of wine, and then this wine notebook. And it has stuff where you can write what kind of your favorite wine, and different notes, and different, you can put the labels of your favorite wine in here. A wine notebook. This doesn't have how much it used to cost, so who knows. I picked up two of these, that's all they had at my store. Bottle of wine, this in the bag, perfect little birthday gift. Then I found brown booze. Brown booze. It gives you all kinds of recipes for all kinds of, look, look. I was like, really? I love whiskey and I'm keeping one of these books for me. Normally it's $16.95. Um, keep me one for me and then I'm sending one to my sister Linda because she also likes whiskey and then I'll have two extra ones to give out for gifts I got five and then I saw this chocolate tasting kit there's no chocolate included but to buy to give somebody this with a couple bars of different kind of chocolate and that's a perfect little gift and I think that's all oh, I got one more thing here I got this little rise and shine mug to put like ramen noodles, boiling water in here, close it. It has a little release lid. And I think that's all I got guys. I wanted to open up my little things with you guys so we can see what I got. My little Thai surprise packs. Let's see. I was so excited. I was so excited to see what I would get. crazy right now. Look at that. He's so cute. He's got glittery, glittery little nose. Look. That's just crazy, guys. That's just crazy. Well, let's see this one. Another little blind bag. I got... Oh. Oh, a little monkey. A little pink monkey. He's so cute, too. Oh. Look at that. They're cute. They're just so cute. And I'm old and I really don't collect stuffed animals or things, but these guys are just, I, I, had, I couldn't resist. When I, when my niece opened the ones I got her for her birthday, I was like, I'm so old, I have to take them. And then this, my daughter's gonna try later, but she told me I can open it. Does it only bite you once? Let's find out. I don't know. I got it for her, but I think I'm gonna do it. Why not? To, to unbox the bite. This is my directions on how you do this. toys right toys all right well thank you for watching me and coming to check out my channel and stay safe stay well and talk to you guys soon or talk to you guys later it's this this looks yummy too it's betty crocker chilled treats french vanilla mousse and it says it's got four in there ready in five minutes 
That looks good too. 